Hello Booktube, I'm Jonathan and welcome to Words in Time. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about The Three Body Problem by Cixin Lu. And later in the video, we'll also be doing the sci-fi quiz of the day. So what is the premise for The Three Body Problem? Well, strange things start happening to prominent scientists and a mystery unfolds which seems like it could be connected to a secret military project that is sending signals out into space as well as the physics puzzle known as The Three Body Problem. Now when I talked about this book in my 5 series to start in 2022 video, I mentioned that I had heard it was big idea sci-fi, and that I liked those kind of books from Arthur C. Clarke, although I didn't know whether that was a good comparison. Now having actually read the book, I would say that comparison makes some sense. It's obviously different in that it is a modern book written by a Chinese author, but I think the physics in this and the mind-boggling sci-fi concepts are going to appeal to Arthur C. Clarke fans. And I think that is in part due to the scope. The scope of the ideas in this book is massive. And while characters do make some important decisions, I think the focus of this book is less on the characters and more so on existential questions that have universal consequences. Ever since I finished, I've been thinking about this book over and over, and every time I do, a new concept or perspective just shifts around in my brain, and it really is just a mind-shattering book. So how does it present these ideas? Well, it does so through a combination of scientific and philosophical ideas. There's a great quote in the book, Should philosophy guide experiments, or should experiments guide philosophy? Regarding the philosophy, the book is set against the backdrop of the Chinese Cultural Revolution, as the timeline alternates between the 1960s and the present. Now, I don't think you need to be well-read in the history in order to be able to understand or enjoy the book, but if you are well-read in it, that could potentially enhance your understanding and enjoyment. If you are feeling a little bit lost, well, the book does actually explain a few things through footnotes. Now, personally, I find that footnotes can kind of take me out of the novel reading experience, but luckily in this book, they weren't overbearing, they weren't too long, and they only occur every five or 10 pages or so. So you might find those useful. Now, I didn't feel the politics in this book were presented in a didactic way. At some points, I thought it was trying to convey one thing, and yet others, I thought it was trying to convey something completely different. So I liked how it used the technique of posing philosophical questions as opposed to trying to make an argument for a particular answer. Now, as well as the philosophical ideas, we have a lot of scientific concepts, often centered around physics, with one in particular being the three body problem. Now, to attempt to try and explain this briefly, when you have two gravitational bodies of mass, it is relatively simple for scientists and mathematicians to calculate their subsequent motion. But when you introduce three or more bodies, it starts to become infinitely complex. There becomes too many variables to try to be able to represent that within one formula. So as I'm describing this, if you're thinking, this sounds pretty interesting, then this is probably going to be a good book for you. If you're already so, so bored that you are just about to exit the video, please stay. And also, yes, this might not be the best book for you. I'm not saying it reads like a scientific textbook, but scientific discussions like that do probably account for around a quarter of the book. So just wanted to let you know that ahead of time. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was the writing style, because if like me, you predominantly read books that are written by English speaking authors, it could be a little bit of an adjustment for you to make. Although I would say I felt like I adapted fairly quickly. Some of those differences could be cultural, they could be from Cixin Lu's writing style, or it could be from the translation, or a combination of all three. But I don't think you should let that put you off reading this book. Now I actually thought the prose was fine, and while the characters were a little dry, that didn't overly bother me, other than in a couple of sections where we spent an extended period of time with one character. When we did start to explore an individual character's thoughts, motivations, decisions, reactions, that's when I started to want a little bit more personality from them. Although I will say one of the side characters does have quite a bit of personality and I wouldn't say he was likable, but I liked him. 
Now something that was a bit of an issue for me was the structure. This book follows three or four different timelines and the transitions between them didn't feel all that smooth. And I don't feel like they were necessarily used to elevate or enhance the other timelines, but rather were just used to convey the necessary information in order to move the story along. And I found the same way about the journey of the main character. There were definitely some interesting moments, but I felt like most of the reveals came not through exciting action or interesting decisions, but rather through exposition. The ideas were predominantly presented through conversations when it felt like it was time to advance the plot. And for me, this was the weakest aspect of the book. So overall, what are my thoughts on the three body problem? Well, I think this book hit some really high high points. If you're craving some hard sci-fi or some big concepts, I think this book is definitely going to scratch that itch. There were some flaws that I think impacted the actual reading experience, but I think this is going to be one of those books where the ideas stick with you long after you've actually read it. I think the potential for this series is pretty much limitless. I'm very excited to continue. So for those reasons, I'm going to give the three body problem 8.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. It's pretty out there, something unique, and I'm excited to get your reactions to it in the comments as well. Let me know if you've read it or if you've read the series and yeah, without any spoilers, what should I expect? I hear it gets pretty crazy. So before we go guys, we have today's sci-fi quiz of the day. If you get it right, brag in the comments. If you get it wrong, consider subscribing. It can only help your sci-fi trivia. So earlier in the video, we mentioned Arthur C. Clarke. So I wanted to ask you guys, what decade was Childhood's End released? We know he's a classic writer, so probably somewhere between the 40s and the 70s. Well, it was released in 1953. Definitely one of my favorite authors, a big idea sci-fi writer, just like Cixin Lu. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and feel free to check out some more sci-fi content over here.